This is the biggest in person I've had for the community class in a while, so that's pretty cool. Nice. How many is today? Oh, we never know. Oh. No, yeah, people don't yeah, register for this one. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> so it's always a surprise. There's usually about 20 or 30 online. Yeah.
volunteered. I volunteered all day, so it's kind of. Yeah. I need to release. Well, so good to settle in. <laughs> Hi, Maria. Okay, so people at home, um, we're going to start on our backs today. So everybody in the studio, I've got set up with some extra blankets and props. You could put a blanket down underneath you if you want to start off with some cushions, some extra support, a blanket for on top of you. You could add extra pillows or something if you kind of want to weigh the body down. Um, or if you have a cat, you could put that on top of you. That's always great. That's what I do at home. <laughs> They're very helpful, yeah. Yes. The purring therapy is very real. Yeah. <laughs> but she gets upset when I move that. No, you can't move. That's the trick, yeah. You can't yeah. move. Okay, hi, people just joining. I was just saying we're going to start on our backs today. So if you want to grab any extra props that will help you be extra cozy, we're going to be here for a little bit to start off. So we're just going to settle in right away. Harry, Kathy, Cindy. Now I just turned the heat down a little bit. I was like, I don't know what I Okay, people at home, I just want to make sure that the microphone is working. Can you hear me okay? It looks like it's working. Yes, okay, thanks, Brenda. Great. Okay, so we'll go ahead and settle in on our backs. See some people fully set up in full yoga nidra mode. It's beautiful. We'll start off with 10 conscious breaths. So bring your awareness to your nostrils, or your belly, or wherever you feel the breath the most. And be with that flow as the breath comes in and out of the body for about 10 rounds. Gently gathering all of the disparate parts of the mind and bringing them to a single focal point.
So as you're getting settled, bring some curiosity to the moment and ask yourself what it feels like to be in your body today at this time. You can drift back and reflect on the day that you've just had. Maybe drift back to Thursday. Wednesday, back to Tuesday and Monday, and maybe we can use the next hour as a time to integrate the entire week that we've just lived. I love teaching on Friday, kind of synthesize our recent experience through the practice. Throughout the practice, feel full autonomy to do whatever you need to do, your body and you know your mind and your body better than I do. So at any point in time, if you want to do something different than what's being cued, please go for that. Lean into what you need over what's being spoken. And the next invitation is to gather the awareness of the crown of the head. So feel the point at the top of the head. Take a few breaths here. time you inhale we'll trace the length of the spine so you'll inhale from the awareness will move from the crown of the head down to the tailbone to the base of the spine and then as you exhale you feel your body sink a little bit more deeply into the mat inhale from the crown of the head all the way down to the base of the spine exhale release tension release the muscles let the body melt Inhale, awareness coalesces at the crown of the head. You gently trace the length of the spine down to the tailbone. This time, if you want to open your mouth, you can exhale audibly. <sighs> let the week go, let the day go. Continue on like that for a few more rounds, for a few more moments. Here we'll go ahead and bring the awareness back to the nostrils. We'll work with mental alternate nostril breathing. Take three breaths here and notice the texture of your breath, what the temperature of the breath feels like. If it feels smooth or rough. Can you notice that you're breathing shallowly or if you're breathing deeply? 
No judgment, just taking inventory. Mental alternate nostril breathing. So we'll inhale through the left nostril. Exhale out the right. And just be aware of what subtle changes you can make just by directing your energy to one nostril or the other. If you want to use the mudra with the hands, you totally can. Otherwise, we'll inhale through the left. Exhale out the right. Inhale through the right. Exhale out the left. So that's one round. Do about 10 rounds total. As you breathe in, maybe noticing energy coalescing at the space between the eyebrows, at the top of the bridge of the nose. And again, as you exhale, maybe you can release a little bit more tension from the body or tension from the mind. So if you're still practicing, go ahead and let that go. Again, gaze inward, take a look at your mind. The emotional landscape. Next, we're moving towards Brahmari Pranayama, or bumblebee breath. So you can either remain supine on your back, or if you want to begin to come up to a seat, you can as well. So this breath is really working with vibration. So you can either, traditional mudra is to have the fingertips over the eyes and then the thumbs closing the ears. That can be really activating and stimulating for folks. So if that seems like too much for you or it's not comfortable, just keep your hands by your side or you could simply put your hands on your chest and feel the vibration as we hum. So instead of oming, it's just, uh, we're gonna take a deep breath in and on the exhale, the breath goes, mm, So it's just humming, and we're trying to take a look at if we can notice or find or discover on Earth where that vibration is coming from inside and what that vibration is doing to our minds and our bodies. So it's just something to look at as we're doing that. Hopefully this kind of helps bring us a little bit more inward. So if you want to go ahead and take the mudra, you can go ahead and plug the ears gently and then place the fingertips, the two middle fingers over the eyes, and place the, pink, the little fingers on the corners of the mouth and then I either put my pointer fingers on my eyebrows or up on the forehead. So together we'll take a deep breath in. And then hum on the exhale. Mm. Inhale, and then just keep going with that. We'll do about 10 rounds. If you need to stop sooner than that, if you notice your system is getting activated, go ahead and just breathe, take it easy. Otherwise, let yourself be absorbed by the experience, by the vibration that's coming from within you.
Where is that source? How does the vibration help draw you deeper inside? Maybe you feel goofy, let yourself feel goofy for just humming with your eyes closed. Or if you don't want to be too loud, you can just breathe and be really aware and tune into the subtle vibration that your exhale always has anyway. your next exhale, go ahead and let that go. Allow the eyes to close and the hands to rest somewhere comfortable. Take five breaths again and just notice how you feel. So if you have layers on, keeping the layers on or gently begin removing layers, we're going to start adding some movement with the breath. So we're going to work with the breath throughout most of the practice as a bookend. So practicing with inhaling and then letting the movement begin. And then as the movement finishes, you have a little bit of inhale left. And then the exhale is what begins the other movement. And then by the time the movement finishes, you have a little bit of exhale left. So we want to try to bring the breath on either end of the movement, if that makes sense. So we'll start with arms. So inhale, the arms up overhead. And notice what pace feels natural to you. You don't have to stick with mine. So just go at your own pace for a bit. Exhale, the movement begins. Movement ends, and then you have a little bit of exhale left. So then change the tempo of your breath or your movement to make that happen. So really, it's just curiosity. What is my breath like? How fast does my body want to move? Am I feeling a little bit speedier? Am I feeling slower? Fast is not better than slow, slow is not better than fast. Five more breaths just like this. Your fifth one, we'll let the arms rest by the side of the body. Coming into some dynamic twisting neck. So if you want to stay supine on your back, you'll simply bring the knees in towards the chest and let the knees um, fall out to your left side. So we'll inhale the arms up overhead. Exhale, we'll twist to the right. Inhale brings us to the center. Arms up overhead. This time bring the palms together. Feel the fingertips and the palms touch. Exhale to the right again. Maybe the gaze comes over the shoulder a little bit more this time. Inhale back to the center. The arms come up overhead. Palms and fingertips touch. You're aware of that moment when that happens. Exhale, twist. And this time we'll stay for a few breaths in the twist. Time you inhale, have the intention of reaching the crown of the head towards the sky. As you exhale, maybe you twist any amount deeper. 
And notice here how much you're cranking yourself into the twist with your arms and see about engaging the navel and engaging the abdomen, allowing that point to be what originates the twist and the arms are just there for a little bit of extra support. You can explore with turning the neck towards the left shoulder. Turning back. So again, twists ringing out the spine, helping with integration and assimilation, so letting things be absorbed that we haven't digested yet. Next inhale brings you gently back towards the center. Take a breath in here. on the other side, inhale the arms up overhead, exhale to the left side, inhale brings us to the center, exhale to the left, once more inhale to the center, unwind, fingertips come together, palms come together, exhale this time we stay in the twist. Option to turn the head to the other side, like we did on the other side, if you did that. Inhale brings us back to the center. The arms can come up well overhead for a moment. Exhale the palms to the heart center. If you have props and stuff around you, you can begin to remove your layers. We'll gradually come onto all fours. Move really slowly and really curiously, like you were in a bucket of syrup or something. Molasses, that was the word I was looking for. So beginning on hands and knees, we'll immediately just be curious about what it feels like to have our palms, our knees, and the tops of our feet on the mat. Great, notice how the wrists feel. Does it feel better to have fists instead of flat hands on the mat? Okay, so like we were on our backs, we're gonna close the eyes for a moment, bring the awareness to the crown of the head, and then when you inhale, again, trace the spine down to the tailbone. And then exhale, feel your foundation, feel the points that you're making contact with the earth. Two more times like that. Inhale from the crown of the head down to the base of the spine. Exhale, you root down, you feel a little bit more grounded and you even maybe feel the earth come up to hold you. One more time. Okay, now starting at the shoulders, doing a little body scan like a scanner at the airport or something, just hovering over the back of your body and the front of your body, scanning for tension. Where is there tension in your body? Where is there pocket points of pain or irritation? So notice what comes up. Maybe you're not feeling anything in your body, but you feel a little tinge of something in your mind. So whatever point came up for you that was most present, whatever sensation that was most obvious to you, bring your awareness to that point in the body. 
or that point in your mind. And then let go of conscious movement and let your body move from that point for the next few moments. So maybe that looks like hip circles or the body begins to do some type of undulations. It begins to move itself, to unwind itself. Allowing that wisdom to kind of emerge itself instead of the mind dictating to the body what it should be doing in any moment. I'm going to step out and get my water bottle. I'll be right back. give up a lot of the times when I do this practice at home because when I start letting my body guide me usually that's when stuff in my mind comes up that I don't really want to interact with so maybe that's happening for you at this moment maybe you're doing great that's great next step for me is always inviting in compassion and some self-empathy at this point, especially when we're working with tension and points in the body that feel stuck. Oh, usually we can have some space to be a little bit nicer to ourselves. Okay, so if you're not already there, the next breath will go ahead and meet in child's pose. Knees can be together, the knees can be the width of the mat. Now here, an opportunity to Deepen the breath a little bit. So as you inhale, maybe you can breathe all the way to the down, the bottom of your belly, really engaging the diaphragm. As you exhale, let all the breath out so that way new oxygen can come in and refuel the cells in the body. So whether you're audible or not, we're going to take a breath in together. Let the belly fill up. As you exhale, go ahead and let go. Just imagine anything that you don't need is pouring out of the mouth. So a deep breath in together. Exhale, let everything leave your body that you don't need. So not only as you inhale, you're bringing everything in that you want to discard as you exhale. Now the earth is even opening up and letting it, taking everything from you that you don't need. So you don't have to carry it all by yourself. You never had to. Okay, and then a new moment. Notice how you feel now. Inhale back up to all fours. Come into some cat and cow. So inhale, the belly drops, the pelvis tilts forward, the gaze can come up in space. Exhale, push the earth away, tuck the tailbone under, round the spine. Navel draws back towards the spine as well. Inhale, belly drops, pelvis tilts forward. Exhale, round. Inhale, flow in and out of cat and cow on your own, honoring your own rhythm and your own pace.
So building some heat now. Inhale, the belly drops, coming into cow. Exhale, tuck the toes, push back to downward facing dog. Start by pedaling things out here and allow yourself to just kind of shake things out. I love to bounce up and down. Just kind of let my thighs, my thighs shake. Just let the body move. If there's anything stagnant, we were on the ground for a long time, kind of traveling up and out to the sun. Okay, so from here, go ahead and bend the knees a lot. So you're gonna hover the knees over the mat. Tuck your tailbone, or like kind of tilt your pelvis forward as if you were in cow pose and let your tailbone reach up towards the sky. Release the weight of the head so the ears are in line with the triceps and then straighten the legs out any amount more. Maybe you have a little bit more length in the spine. The next time you inhale, the knees will come back to the earth. We'll come into cow pose, belly drops. Exhale round, the seat goes back towards the heels in child's pose. Take one breath in. Exhale. Inhale will come up onto the knees, the arms will come, to, the hands will come together overhead. Exhale brings us back down to child's pose. Inhale this time forward, we'll come to all fours and then we'll immediately come to plank pose. Either on the hands, you can be on the knees, or on the fists. Stay here for three breaths. Tucking the tailbone under, pushing the earth away, really bringing your core up towards the ceiling. Another deep breath in. Exhale, push back to downward facing dog. Inhale. Exhale, then walk the feet towards the hands. Release the weight of the head here. You can bend the knees and do a little bit of that bouncing again here if that feels supportive. Shake the head out from side to side. Yeah, good, shake and let it all out. Okay, inhale up halfway. Reach the crown of the head towards the front of the room. Exhale, fold. Inhale, hands come up overhead. Feel the palms touch and the fingertips touch. Exhale, palms come to the heart center. Okay, so flowing through that a few more times, we're gonna gradually pick up the speed a little bit. So inhale, the arms up overhead. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale up halfway. Exhale, fold. Plant the hands and step back to downward facing dog. One breath in. Exhale. Inhale forward to plank. Three breaths in plank. Super strong, super strong. Exhale, the knees come down to the earth and we come right back to child's pose. One breath in here. Inhale onto the knees so the torso comes up, the hands come up together overhead. Great. Exhale, back down to child's pose. Inhale, it brings you forward to all fours. Exhale, press up the plank. Inhale, one breath. Exhale, push back to downward facing dog. Hips move back in space. Inhale. Exhale, and then the feet come forward to meet the hands. Take three breaths in the forward fold this time. A third breath, we'll inhale up halfway. Exhale, fold. Press into the heels, bend the knees slightly, inhale up all the way, the arms come up overhead. Aware of the palms touching as they come together. Exhale, hands come to the heart center. Inhale, arms up overhead. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale up halfway. Fold forward, and this time the left foot will step back, so we're in a right uh, deep lunge with the right foot forward. Allow yourself to bounce and find some movement here. You can straighten the leg any amount and bend back into it. We'll be here for a few breaths, kind of exploring the right hip, 
the hamstrings on this side, on the right side. Option, uh, awesome option to always bring blocks right here, extra support. And while we're here too, we'll gather our awareness again at our foundation. So the center of the right foot and then the center of the ball of the back left foot. Your right foot's forward, right? Okay. Sometimes I mirror, sometimes I don't, so I confuse myself. <laughs> okay, so then together we'll go ahead and straighten the front, uh, the right leg any amount. Inhale. Exhale, we'll bend into the front knee. Then however you want to get there, we'll get back to downward facing dog, so the hands will frame the foot. Right foot will step back in space. We'll take one breath to even out and down dog. Next time you inhale, the knees will come to the earth. Exhale brings you back to child's pose. Inhale up onto the knees, the hands come together overhead, gaze and come up towards the palms. Exhale, back down to child's pose. Inhale, pulls you forward to all fours. Exhale, brings you up to plank. Breath in. Exhale, pushes you back to downward facing dog. Breath in. And then exhale, at the end of the exhale, the left foot steps forward between the two hands, coming into a deep lunge on this side. And come into that same exploration. So now curiosity with the left hip, awareness in the sole of the left foot and the center of the right ball of the foot. Next inhale, go ahead and straighten that left leg, any amount. Exhale, bend into the knee. Do that a couple more times at your own pace. Okay, the next time you exhale, if you have blocks, you can move them to the side and we'll step the right foot forward to meet the left, come into the forward fold. This time we'll interlace the hands behind the back if that's available to you, otherwise you could have the hands wrapped around. Um, so the wrists will come off of the back, come into this little ditty here. Or if you wanna have the hands back behind the ankles, you could pull your torso down a little bit further towards the earth. Okay, so now a little bit of freestyle space. So stay here for a bit if you want to. Or find your your choice of forward fold, or if you want to come up to standing and standing mountain pose for a few breaths, go ahead and travel there. So putting all of that together, when you're ready, we'll all meet standing. Inhale, arms up overhead. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, up halfway. Exhale, fold. This time the right foot steps back, the left foot's forward, coming into the deep lunge. Exhale, this time straighten the front leg. Inhale, bend into the front knee. Exhale, frame the foot, step back to downward facing dog. Take a breath in. Exhale. Inhale forward to plank. Exhale here in plank. Inhale for one breath. Exhale, the knees lower down to the earth. Next exhale brings you back to child's pose. Next inhale brings you up onto your knees, the palms come together overhead. Exhale, fold back down, come to child's pose. Inhale, pull forward to all fours. Exhale brings you up to plank. One breath in. 
Exhale, push back to downward facing dog. Take a breath in. Exhale, and this time the right foot steps forward into the lunge. Get settled here. Next time you exhale, go ahead and straighten that right leg. Inhale, bend the knee. Exhale, straighten the leg. Inhale, bend the knee. Yeah, if you're at your fingertips and you're struggling to get there, that's really a good point when blocks can come in and bring the earth to you. That way you can still have the spine really long. Um, in your time, go ahead and next time you exhale, step forward to forward fold. Release the weight of the head here. And this time we'll go ahead and sway from side to side. So let the hands move from the left side of the mat to the right side of the mat. Beautiful. if you want to. As we exhale, slowly and mindfully bring the palms to the space between the eyebrows and to the heart space. Allow the eyes to close or allow your gaze to rest at one point in front of you or on the floor. We'll be here for about 10 breaths, so just noticing Again, your foundation with the earth and how it feels to be in your body today at this particular time. Allowing the awareness to gather at the crown of the head once more. And this time as we inhale, we're going to drag the energy all the way down to our feet. So we're kind of imagining that we're taking everything that's undigested or everything that's unprocessed in our mind and then downloading it into the body. So awareness begins at the crown of the head. Inhale, awareness traces down the spine and then down the legs and eventually to both heels. And as you exhale, you could even open your eyes for a second. You could even just like drop yourself a little bit to the earth. So really just letting your energy fall deeper into the earth, or you can simply just feel your feet grounding down. So inhale from the crown of the head all the way down the body to the feet. Exhale, gravity. Inhale, bringing everything from the top to the bottom. Exhale, gravity. Okay, even if you want to get your arms into it this time, inhale, the arms up overhead, but our awareness is still moving down towards the feet. And then as we exhale, integrating, downloading, letting go of what we don't need. We have three more times. do three rounds of lion breath here as well just to keep it going so lion's breath is the one you stick out your tongue and you'll go cross-eyed so I'll look silly you can do whatever you want to so inhale all the way looks like this so again letting everything come out that you don't need now three more times like that Notice how you feel. All right, 
so we'll go ahead and face the windows. Bring the legs wide on the mat. I'm going to do some dynamic twisting. So it'll look like this. We'll inhale, the arms will come out into star pose, and then we'll come down to the left side first, come into the twist, and we'll be in the center, and then to the right, and then to the center, and then to the middle. And then we'll do this a few times dynamically, and then eventually we'll, we'll settle in on one side. So also invitation before we get started, even if you don't think you might use it, I'll just say everybody go ahead and grab a block and put it on either side of your foot, or a book or whatever you might have at home to help support you there. Um, and even if you don't absolutely need it, you can just give yourself some support just because. So inhale, arms to the center. Exhale, right hand to the left foot. Say hi to the beautiful target bag swaying in the wind. Inhale up to the center. Exhale, left hand to the right foot. Gaze okay, comes up towards the right palm, or you can look straight down at the ground. Inhale to the center. Exhale, fold in the middle. The knees can bend any amount here. Inhale in the middle. Exhale, twisting to the left. Inhale to the center. Exhale to the right this time. Inhale brings you to the middle. Exhale down to the center. Okay, so move with your own breath now at your own pace. Left, right, and then the middle. do three more rounds, so invitation here to invite in some of that vibration on the exhale if you want to hum on the exhale. Oh, eyes to close. Mm -hmm. So the next time you come to the left side, or whatever side you're going to next is fine, we'll go ahead and stay there for a bit. So let your opposite leg, uh, that knee, bend any amount as much as you need to. And again, maybe use that block if you haven't, if you need a little bit more support, if you need to bring the earth to you. Staying here as long as this is supportive. We'll be here for a few more breaths together. If you need to come to the center before I cue us to do that, go for it. Do one more conscious breath in. Exhale, twist any amount deeper. And then come out. Bend the knees, inhale brings you up to the middle. Stretch the arms out. And exhale brings you over to the other side and we'll stay here for the same duration.
forcing yourself anywhere that you don't need to be. If there's a little bit too much tension, give yourself permission to back off. When you're ready, we'll go ahead and come to the center and hang out here for about five breaths. time the feet will slowly begin to make their way together being aware of the balls of the feet and the heels as they're coming together if you want to stand a forward fold here for a little bit you can maybe you want to stand up and balance and shake things out a little bit I feel nice to sway back and forth doing a little bit of twisting going with your own flow or we're going to start coming into a little bit of tapping so starting with the forehead we'll make small taps at the tops of over the eyebrows then moving around to the temples if you want to camp here for a second and do some small circles here feel free to do that otherwise continue tapping down to the side of the cheeks and to the top of the jaw down the jaw you could give yourself a little bit of some circles and massage of the jaw Moving down to the chin and the point where either sides of the jaw meet, the tip of the chin. Moving up to the corners of the mouth, a little taps there. On either side of the nostrils, the base of the nose. The center of the eyes, the uh, center of the cheekbones, right below the eyes. Wrapping around back to the temples and then to the space in the center of the eyebrows again. From here, moving up towards the crown of the head, so tapping through the head, over the top of the head. Then back behind the skull. Now you're at the base of the skull, right down here. Then moving down to the side of the neck. And so if your body's kind of letting you flow in its own intuitive way, follow that current. Otherwise, you can keep following this, so tapping at the base of the neck and then the collarbones. Going to the center of the collarbones, going back out towards the tips of the shoulders, making your way towards the center of the chest to the sternum, then around the breast area in the chest, kind of moving out, tapping in between the ribs. Maybe it's a little ticklish there like it is for me. Down to the belly. Here you can bring some fist, light tapping at the belly. Back around to the back body, kidney area. Moving down to the place above the buttocks and the hips. Wrapping around to the front, to the hip flexor area. Moving to the thighs, tracing the femurs, getting to the tops of the knees and then going out to the edges of the legs. Then up back to the tops of the hips. Moving back around down towards the inner thighs this time and then moving all the way down to the feet. Tapping gently with the fingertips on the tops of the feet here, the outer edges of the feet. Now on the Achilles area, back at the heel and the ankle area. Tracing up the calves, back behind you, tapping the center of the calves. Getting to the back of the knee area, staying there for a moment. Then tapping travels up, the thighs back behind you. Tapping the butt, place above whatever this area is, and then to the sacrum. As high up to the back as you can, and then wrapping back around to the rib cage, coming back to the sternum. And then eventually letting your hands rest at the heart.
bring the feet together now. Inhale the arms up overhead. Exhale, we'll bring the seat back coming to chair pose. Inhale, reach the fingertips high towards the sky, and then exhale, bring the palms to the thighs. Exhale, fold forward, the legs lengthen, coming into a forward fold. Inhale, brings you up all the way. Exhale, the seat comes back, coming to chair. Inhale, reach the fingertips forward. Exhale, the palms come to the thighs, trace the legs as you straighten the legs and release the head, come into forward fold. One more time, just like that, inhale up. Exhale, the seat comes back. Hands come to the thighs. Forward fold, and then in your own way, we're gonna just find ourselves on our bellies. And frame the chest with the fingertips. And we're gonna come into Funky Cobra here. So inhale brings you up and just begin to move the chest in any way that feels appropriate, kind of continuing to unwind some tension. You can move from one side and then to the other. Really getting into the shoulders and the neck here. Allow the neck to move a lot. You can look behind you over that right shoulder. Coming into a twist on each side as you come up and come down. If you wanna really walk yourself up and really give yourself a back bend here, you can try that out. Move like this for a few more breaths at your own pace, letting your body guide you. Okay, eventually either put a blanket in front of you, you could put your chin on a block, or you could have your head resting on the back of your palm, or the back of your hand. I'm gonna bend the right knee. If, you need, if somebody needs a strap, please just raise your hand and I'll grab you one. Bend the right knee and reach back for the foot, or you can grab the leg or anything that you can hold on to. Flex the foot, the right foot, and then point that knee back behind you as if you were trying to bring it off of the earth a little bit. So it's almost like we're coming into bow pose, but not quite. If you want to put your head or your chin on the ground, you could reach back with your left hand if that's available to you. Hold on to your foot there and just kind of give yourself a little bit of a quad stretch here. So really bringing the heel towards the buttocks. And then having the intention of pointing that knee to the wall behind you. And come in and, in and out of this if you want to, otherwise we'll stay here for a few breaths. Next exhale, go ahead and release that, let the leg go. Then switch sides, so grabbing the left foot now. Again, if anybody needs a strap, please let me know. Scoring the hips to the floor, flexing that left foot, and then pointing that knee to the wall behind you. Go ahead and release that. And lay the palms on top of one another, rest the head on the back of the hands for two breaths. Feeling the belly expand and press into the earth as you inhale. Exhale, noticing if you feel a little bit more settled. From here, we'll go ahead and bring the right arm to the right side of the mat. We'll bring it at a 90 degree angle. So we're gonna come into a, a chest stretch, chest opener. So bringing the arm out like this. Folks at home, can you see me? So right angle to the side of your mat. And then we'll just go ahead and gently roll ourselves over to this side. 
So allow yourself to come in and out of this a couple times because this sensation kind of arises for everybody at a really different spot. So I can't quite tell you where to go. <laughs> but find a, a place that feels like an edge where you're getting some opening in the right chest and in the right shoulder. If you want to, you can straighten your arm so it's not bent, that might be better for you. Otherwise, I like to straight have my arm bent and then walk my fingertips forward in space. Yeah, just like that. If you want something underneath your head, you could put a block there or something. That back left leg is usually just kind of flailing or if you can get it to the ground, go for it. No requirement to be in any specific shape at all, though. Two more conscious breaths, infusing the breath with love for yourself. Next, exhale, gently unwind back towards the center. Bring that right arm down beside you, alongside your leg. Take a breath here and notice how that side feels compared to your left. And then we'll come into it on the other side. So either arm at 90 degree or you could have the arm straight. What worked on the other side might not be the same on this side, so allow there to be variety. Gently unwind, come back to center. In your own time, we'll come back to child's pose. Gently, we'll make our way onto our backs. Take a moment here and see if there's anything that your body needs before final rest. Otherwise, we'll hug the knees into the chest here. If you inhale, the knees will fall away and the arms will lengthen. And as you exhale, draw the knees in, the thighs comes towards the chest and the belly. You could press, you could bring the forehead up to meet the knees if you want to. Inhale, the knees fall away, open up. Exhale, the thighs and the knees move towards you, compressing, condensing. A few more times like that with your own breath. Last thing I will offer to you is a um, waterfall. If you want to put a block underneath you, you could bring the legs up in space and come into an inversion. Um, you could do forearm stance. You could either have the hands supporting the, your lower half here with the elbows on the earth. You could have the block underneath you. Put that just below your sacrum. If you're at home or if you want to come to a wall here, you can do legs up the wall. Feel free to do that if that's comfortable for you.
feeling the change in circulation as you turn yourself upside down. Even shake the legs out here and do some shaking like we were doing earlier if that feels nice. Circling the wrist or the, the ankles, the feet wrist. Okay, stay here as long as you want. Or we'll gently begin to come into Shavasana. So intention is to kind of come back where we started but really set yourself up really nice for a good rest so if you want to put a blanket underneath you go for it um, we have the sandbags around here if you want to get settled i can come place that over you or you could place that on yourself if you want me to come put the sandbag over you i'll put it over your the lower part of your abdomen you can just put your hand on your belly a blanket underneath the head an extra bolster under the legs. If there's any extra pops you want, I am more than happy to go grab something for you. So transitioning now from work to rest. times tracing the awareness from the crown of the head down to the base of the spine again as you exhale feel yourself firmly rooted on the earth firmly held by the earth allow yourself to let go all mind the time and bring everybody out when it's close to departure.
gently and receive a conscious breath in. Begin to bring some small movements back to the body. You can move the jaw from side to side or wiggle the fingers and toes. We'll close with a brief meditation so you can either turn off to your side and eventually come up to a seat or if you want to stay laying down, that's totally fine. Mantra, Loka Samasta Sukino Bhavantu means may all beings everywhere find peace, may all beings everywhere be liberated. And maybe that kind of relates to the whole experience we just went to. So we'll sing the mantra three times and we'll take about ten breaths together before we finish. If you know the mantra, feel free to join. Loka Samasta Sukino Bhavantu Loka Samasta Sukino Bhavantu Loka Samasta Sukino Bhavantu Om Shanti 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 Peace, peace, peace to all beings everywhere. Bring the palms together. And rub the palms together, build up some heat and some friction. Once you feel an adequate amount of heat in the palms, go ahead and bring the palms over the eyes. Take a breath in, reinvigorate the senses, coming back out into third dimensional world. Rub the hands together one more time. And hands come to the body, go ahead and find hands on the body, making contact again. You can do some self massage if you want to, or begin to pack up. Thanks everybody for coming. Sun's peeking out of the clouds now. Yes. Mine's still there. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Thank you. I hope everybody has a lovely weekend. Thanks for having me. I've never done anything like that before. Oh, well, cool. I love adding nuance. <laughs> Thanks, everybody at home. Maybe you're already ready for bed. <laughs> if so, I did my job. <laughs>